This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new. Side. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Every time he throws that leg kick, it lands with so much force. Nice kick. Just missed with the leg kick. Looks like that one landed beautiful body. Big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Huge knee lands from Nicole. Big body kick. It got checked. He ripped the body there. Oh, nice. Nice. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, massive right hand. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Able to check that kick as well. Nice kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Separation. Oh, and 
as effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. Throwing that low kick. Under two minutes to go. So there it is, longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Nice, sneaky head kick. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to us. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Straight right, he misses. Nice crack there. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. How technical is that? Nice straight punch. All right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you can tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. The fighter lands a nasty kick. Oh, beautiful count. I mean, how about those five minutes, DC? One of the best rounds of the year. Spent a lot of energy that round, forcing the takedowns. This round, we're going to be smart. I want you to put angles. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Like kick. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. Oh, great head movement there, slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. All right, so unless my eyes, that one appeared to stun him. Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. 
Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Lands a big elbow there. The center line slips the punch. Nice shot there by the champ. Counters with that inside left kick. The bait is paired in the type of fight that we expect. Good jab. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. That landed. Nice defense there. Huge block. Absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this round. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Straight right counter. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Final seconds here. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready fight? Ready. Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker. Oh! Oh, no! And back to his feet. advantage there with that punch, DC. Lands that beautiful jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big punch lands. Ooh. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again, nicely done. As oh, nice. Just missed on the front kick there. 
Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot. Whoa! Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Right hand lands. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Three minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh. Oh, great block there. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Clean hook there. Nice body shot there. With two minutes and change to go in round three. He's got that jab working, nicely done. just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. So I'm gonna hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights, and it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the injury. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raise. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Setting up a spinning strike, snaps off the kick there. Superman punch now. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. All right, less than a minute. Oh, powerful double leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. What a strike from off of his back. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, nice. Now he's going full mount. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the... Oh! Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. 
All right, so a knockdown form in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Oh, right back to the well with the calf kick, and yet again, he does not miss. He doesn't miss because his opponent didn't address it early. And now he's... Oh, he got him again. should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find the punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. For his opponent, but the celebration is on. One of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance.